Welcome guys to lesson 4 of crazy tutorials. In this video I'm gonna show you how to work with picture boxes. So let's begin with clicking new project and type here I'm gonna type lesson 4 and for this project I'm gonna make the form a little bit bigger Okay, and also uh, I want the background color to be changed of this form so just click on the form and go to background color we can change it to something like maybe a active caption yeah. and so it's like light sky or something um so let's drag a picture box here okay so how to get a picture inside this picture box it's very easy just select the picture box go down here the image properties and as you can see say none just click on that and there you'll find a, a select resource box which has two options which is local resource and project resource uh, project resource if you click on that and then import something it will be saved um, as a resource file but if you select the local resource and import it it will not be saved as a resource file so for this I'm gonna use local resource and import it so here I have four pictures so first picture um, I'm gonna import this as you can see it's here um, also you can import a picture clicking on this a little button here and then click choose image and for this this time I'm gonna import it uh, as a project resource so import let's open up the second picture here okay okay so it's here so but as you can see the this is kind of like out of the box so we cannot see it clearly to solve this one just go to size mode here and make it zoom or something else um so now we can see the picture here um also <clears throat> let's add two buttons button one and button two i'm gonna change the text of this button so it'll be picture one and the second one is picture 2 okay so I want when I will click on the picture box 1 which is button 1 that click when this one this button will be clicked I want the first picture to appear so for this this is very uh, easy uh, for this we want the picture box one dot image which is the image properties of this picture box equals image dot from file so get the image from file here so we can give it a link here where it'll get it, it can get the file so I'm gonna put a link here uh, hold on a sec okay I got the link so here and also we need to uh, describe the ext so which is jpg so 2.jpg this is this was the image so let's try it now let's debug it and let's see what will happen 
if we click on the picture box one as you can see the picture has changed to two dot jpg okay also as you know this uh, picture uh, has been saved as uh, resources because we have imported from the uh, project resource so we can call it this picture uh, a little bit other way also like just double click on the picture box 2 and we can call it picture box 1 dot image equals image dot um well if we if we want it from the outside we can do image dot file from but if we want this from the resource what we have to do we have to do go my dot resources dot the resource name which is this one let's debug it and let's see what will happen if we click on the picture one then it will say this if we click on the picture 2 then it will say this so um, this is actually very easy to get this um, also I need to show you something else let me delete this button and make let me make it a little bit bigger okay um, let me get another picture here choose image import this cat image which is a PNG and also its background color is transparent so if I open it uh, as you can see it's looking it, it looks like transparent oh, hold on a sec it looks like transparent but is it really transparent let's see if you click on this picture box and go to the background color properties as you can see the active caption color is selected well what if we click on the form one and go to background color uh, sorry background image and give it an image like this one well as you can see it's not transparent right now you can see the background of this cat I don't want it like this so how can we change it to transparent just click on the picture box and when you're selecting the background color click on this one go to web and there is transparent click on that and as you can see it's now transparent if we debug it and there we go transparent color but this is not a true transparency uh, for example um, if we um, get a button maybe or something else here and if we make it uh, come to the front as you can see even though it's above the button it is getting it's getting the picture from the background of this form which is not true transparency so anyway <clears throat> so I hope you like this tutorial um, please um, let me know if you want uh, if you have any question and subscribe please subscribe I really appreciate that um, I am gonna make a lots of videos so you can also keep uh, uh, up to date with me so um, hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next tutorial